Are you obsessed with Animal Planet documentaries and spending way too much time reading about CRISPR? Well, this video is definitely for you. Here are the answers to the questions you never knew you had. This is Weirdly Interesting. Today, we're counting down the top 10 weirdest animal crossbreeds that actually exist. Yes, we live in an era of science taking more of a why not approach to crossbreeding animals, but it wasn't always that way. Buffalo is a cross between the North American bison, aka buffalo, and a more traditional form of cattle. First appearing in the 1700s thanks to the fact that cattle and bison were often herded together, buffalo became popular in the 1800s when colonists began to need more milk and meat production out of their livestock. Like cattle, bison, and buffalo, Zubaran are members of the subcategory Bovidae. They were created by crossing Wissant, a wild type of buffalo, and cattle together. The original purpose of this in the 1800s was to have a replacement for cattle. The reason they weren't used as much by farmers in this time period is the simple fact that Zubaran aren't as tough as cattle. Their large size would appear to be an advantage, however, they fatigue easier, catch disease quicker, and can't withstand the cold as well. So three cheers for the genetic superiority of cattle, am I right? Part of the Equidae family, the hinny is the reverse of a donkey. A donkey is a male mule and a female horse. A hinny is a female donkey and a male horse. They're not as common as a mule because arriving at the proper number of chromosomes while the zygote is in the womb is exceedingly complex. However, the hinny's more diminutive frame and stockier build make them slightly less desirable than the mule. The difficulty surrounding their breeding only adds to their scarcity. Iguanas have it rough. There's a whole world full of predators out there trying to eat them. Some iguanas have developed adaptations to defend against these predators like poison-secreting skin. In fact, two very different species of iguanas that live in the Galapagos Islands crossbred in order to develop their own survivalist adaptations. After male iguanas started to die out due to a shortage in seaweed, they took to the land. Finding it difficult to climb the existing foliage in search of food, they eventually bred with female land iguanas, thus making a third type of iguana that has the proper adaptations to exist in water and on land. One of the rarer crossbreeds on this list, the Wolfen happens exclusively in captivity. When a female bottlenose dolphin and a male false killer whale mate, they produce a Wolfen. Born in Hawaii in 1985, the first recorded Wolfen was named Kiki Malu. The Wolfen is typically larger than a bottlenose dolphin, but still smaller than a false killer whale. Despite the fact that they are a crossbreed, most Wolfens are not sterile and can produce viable offspring. This is very unlikely though, due to the fact that there are so few of them in existence. The Liger was originated in India in the 19th century. They were bred for their beauty, size, and ferocity. Being comprised of a female tiger and a male lion, ligers are not sterile and, unlike typical tigers, have an increased likelihood to be social. Unlike many other big cats, ligers enjoy contact with water. The anomalies don't stop there either. Some ligers have grown to be as large as 10 feet long and over 900 pounds. Needless to say, that's a big cat. A combination of a male wolf and a female coyote, the koi wolf doesn't have a problem reproducing in the wild. It has been hypothesized that this hybrid species came about due to habitat destruction and dwindling resources. Their prevalence in the wild has become so ubiquitous that many scientists worry that they are diluting the natural wolf gene pool. Some scientists have gone as far as to undertake projects to sterilize large numbers of coyotes to keep them from breeding with endangered species of wolves. What do you get when you cross a male jaguar and a female lion? The coolest looking big cat around. The jag lion belongs to the panthera genus and is always sterile, but what they lack in reproductive capability, they make up for in a mesmerizingly cool pelt. Most jag lions exist purely as pets, almost exclusively to people with too much money and not enough real problems. But then again, it's hard to be too mad at them because their gratuitous affluence gave us this weirdly fascinating cat. So whatever, there are worse ways to blow your money, probably. What do you get when you cross a male zebra and a female donkey? A zonkey, obviously. They were bred for transporting armament and weapons, but eventually were adopted as an exotic mount. Who doesn't want to ride a striped baby horse, am I right? The inclination to crossbreed zebras with donkeys came about due to widespread disease that was ravaging the donkey population in the 19th century. It was thought that the zebra biology would be more resistant and resilient. Ultimately, they had only a slightly higher immunity to the disease. What's a growler bear? Well, it's a cross between a polar bear and a brown grizzly bear. Their pale brownish gray coats should be a dead giveaway about their ancestry. Unlike so many animals on this list, growler bears happened out in the wild. They're a result of global warming, forcing polar bears down out of their native homes and into the habitats of grizzly bears. The beauty and majesty of these beasts serves as a silver lining to what is undeniably the most depressing challenge of our times. Let their existence serve as a reminder that life finds a way, even when everything looks to be its most dire. See you next time on Weirdly Interesting.